Hi, Cancer. This is Mrs. DJ Bagnesha. All right. If you guys like to go to my website, MissWildTarot's.com, to book a reading with me, check that out below. If you like to donate to me, check that information out below. All right, guys. I really appreciate all the love, the likes, shares, and comments you give me. Please like the video. Share the video so it could get around. I could get people um, the message out, and people can be well informed for their monthly in April. And if you guys, um, I hope this video has found you, Cancer, doing well, taking care of family, supporting yourself healthy mind healthy body all right spiritually physically mentally and let's see what the month of april is going to have for you gemini's is a little bit crazy and they were dealing with you so i won't be shocked if they come up in this reading all right guys um let's see april we have here the seven of cups you could have a lot of confusion could be dealing with a scorpio or you could have a lot of options in april okay seven of cups is about manifesting so the energy is about illusions dreams and breaking them the okay we gemini look i said i wouldn't be shocked if they came up in your energy king um the situation you're going to be dealing with in April is the uh, Knight of Swords, so you may have to make a swift decision. This is about gossip, quick drama coming in, and then it leaves. The drama comes in quick and leaves just as fast. We have the challenge is the King of Swords, so you could be dealing with it. Gemini was dealing with a decision. You could be dealing with the decision to cut a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius out of your life. We have the Nine of Wands here. It could be a Sagittarius apologizing to you. Someone definitely wants a second chance with you. Somebody that you've been dealing with for a very long time. All right, also is what I'm saying here with the nine of one showing up as someone apologizing and in your mind, you're determined to get what you want. You have just enough strength to make it out of April. We have in your home, the two of cups, you could be falling in love, cancer. You could be meeting your soulmate. You could be whining and dining. It could be another cancer. You could feel like you won't love in your life and it's blocked because they love is in the cup and they want to be together with this person. It could be a Leo, you know, the heart, somebody, you're missing somebody that's not close to you but it's behind you it's the seven of swords leaving liars and thieves and con artists behind it's definitely was a spiritual attack on your life with the sevens here all right or is a spiritual month what's in front of you is the high priestess you already know trust your intuition could be a scorpio or pisces coming out what's in your home is the ten of cups cancer you guys are home or your matters are very beautiful you guys have the ten of cups two of cups that's really emotional peace and happiness and contentment what's coming in is a ace of cups new love all right pisces possibly you definitely having an overwhelming feeling love is coming to your life your hopes and fears is the four of swords healing and then we have outcome being a three of swords and we have here oh so you cut somebody out so you have it's not your energy you cut out a libra in your life and you are aries and they are conflicted Okay, you could be heartbroken because this person is cutting you out. But I feel like with where your energy is at, it's not you that feel this way. Somebody is coming in at the towards the end of the month and trying to bring you out um, drama. Because you may have learned somebody cheated on you, had an affair on you, and they broke your heart. So, you know, you may have been dealing with, should I cut this person out? Should I give this person another chance? All right, because they're apologizing. Ultimately, you're going to go cold on their asses, Aquarius energy and seven of ones block the asses and move forward okay <laughs> that's just what i'm seeing and then we have here yeah because look i asked what was the high priest is bringing in and you know that your new beginning is coming. We had a Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands, and the Sun card. So you secretly know that the the light, the wheels are changing, and new love and inspiration is coming into your life. You could be even dealing with a fire sign, particularly a Leo. All right, as the events are changing, okay, with them. And but this, it's a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You leaving? You could be meeting a new one. You definitely have new love coming in. I feel, I feel a strong Pisces, Cancer coming into your life, and you leaving behind a strong Libra or craze or Gemini energy. So seven of um, cups is, oh, okay. So I said, why is this, um, what is this seven of cups bringing? We have judgment, do expect access to call, all right, a, Li a Libra or a Scorpio or a Capricorn to want a second chance with you. But remember, this person could have many options or you have many options. This is justice. It's justice for whatever happened with your work situation. You're going to have new collaboration, new admirers coming in for you. All right. You guys are doing, y'all are in y'all calling where you guys help people understand karmic justice, legal justice. All right. You guys could be helping people get through these, um, 
making these last judgments in their call in their career too because judgment rules um re renewal a lot of you guys the the confusion you had a lot of confusion about renewing something all right is this truly what your heart desire when it comes to a career matter you could be focusing on that and you could have been having a hard time making this decision because a lot of you guys was really looking at it from an emotional point of view and it's telling you to look at it from a logical point of view a lot of you guys are just moving away because right now what's most peaceful what's most concerning for you is love okay uh serenity balance and peace all right so i definitely see you dealing with leo i mean i definitely see you dealing with gemini's are you trying to get the hell away from a gemini all right so who's beneficial to my lovely cancer we have capricorn we have pluto and we have here scorpio so definitely these are the signs that could be coming into your life that you want to deal with you have a deep bond and connection to you could be dealing with both okay i don't know pluto is depth it's deep okay it's mastering it's completions here it's intimacy you could be clean completing something with both of these signs because you realize you will never have that intimacy that closeness all right or that closure from them and it's time to move on <clears throat> or you could be opening up a cycle with them because you feel deep because these are the signs that's going to ultimately help you so it could be another capricorn you could be mean a scorpio you could be mean this person will have depth you will have pull to them you will want them and vice versa they will want you okay because capricorn is opposite of you and it's a natural pull and scorpio is a good sign for you as well with pluto there yeah you don't know everything <laughs> all right what's not for you is a libra a Gemini and a Taurus. So it's about right with the tarot cards reading here too. Aries at the bottom. Aries could be manipulating things in the background. So you don't want this partnership or the uh, relationship. You don't want to be in a third party relationship. You feel like this person has no values. They do what they want. They always sleeping with other people. They do not value or honor a relationship. Gemini, Libra, or a Taurus. So, um, do you guys make it out how you want to? That's not beneficial to you. What is beneficial to you? I feel like you cancers are going to be okay, though. All right. You're going to be going into something that's deep, long-lasting, okay? Capricorn energy and uh, Scorpio energy. This person will be loyal to you, okay? This person won't. This, this is an intimacy or a relationship or a situation when it comes to your job you ain't never felt before. <laughs> That's the month of April. We have perception, foresight, rule of fortune, focus. So a lot of you guys are going to be focusing, okay, on your wisdom, the wisdom you gain, okay, the oracle. A lot of you guys already know what to do with the high priestess there. You already know who you're dealing with, who your enemy, who not your enemy is destined, okay. They telling you focus on one thing. It's a lot of stuff that's going to be happening in the month of April. You have the foresight to see clearly into the future, okay. To have a cup of tea, relax, okay. Things are going to work out. Don't be jealous of people or envious of anything because what's one, one man's treasure, trash is another man's treasure, vice versa with the woman. Whoever looking at this, it's faded, event, it's faded events happening into your life, okay. But you have to see them because they're coming in. I see that your life is beautiful. It's exactly what it need to be with the will of fortune there. And let and let destiny take its course in your life. Alright. Cancers. Get you four more cards. And then I'm going to wrap it up. This I'll be back to see who's actually coming in their intention. But uh, this is just a general. We have patterns. You bake, breaking patterns. You recognizing somebody patterns. It could be an earth sign patterns you recognizing you recognizing your own patterns and how you keep yourself back from growth okay and abundance and stability okay you learning that and you breaking it we have here create a spark a lot of you guys are going to get very creative on how to get money okay i see with this green a lot of growth a lot of maturity uh, eight again, so it's a lot of intimate matters happening. Maybe you're gonna get creative when it comes to your intimacy. You got communions, okay? So a lot of you guys are definitely gonna be mean people going out there finding out love. Oh yeah, we got the earth sign coming in strong. A lot of you guys are definitely being ambitious at home, maintaining your focus. Focus is that you want to focus on money, the goal. All right, nurturing golden opportunities, okay? Partnerships. Your crown chakra is up, lit up, but it's also about grounding yourself in Mother Earth, okay? You guys are, I feel like, getting um, 
creative when it comes to your workout, eating habit, all right, just really nurturing your kids, yourself, your body. It's a lot of um, growth and expansion here. It's a lot of money, too, in April, I see. You're going to be amazed at how much of it is there after you have changed so much, okay, because it, you may have to leave a relationship or people and places that just didn't mean you any good. All right, guys, just drop a like, share, and comment. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye, Cancer. Love you.